I want to find the second derivative of this parametric function. So the first thing that we need, need to do is to differentiate it. First find the first derivative and from the first derivative we can find the second derivative. So x and y is in terms of t. So let's differentiate with respect to t both the functions. So d, d x by dt is going to be 2t. And this implies dy by dt is going to be 3t squared. So this implies, can I say, dt by dx, let me write it, that is going to be useful later, dt by dx is just the reciprocal of this. So the reciprocal of 2t over 1 is going to be 1 over 2t. Okay, so now we can say, well, dy by dx is equal to uh, dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Or it can also be written as times dt by dx. Okay, or this can also be written as dy by dx times uh, dy by dt, sorry, dy by dt, dy by dt times dt by dx. So let's write like that. So that's the same thing. So dt and dt gets cancelled. That is dy by dx. So dy by dt is 3t squared times dt by dx is 1 over 2t. So that is same as 3t three, three, three squared over 2t. And simplifying that, that is 1.5t. Okay, so now we want to find the second derivative. So the second derivative is d squared y by dx squared. That is same as d by dx of dy by dx. Okay, so we know dy by dx, so this is equal to d by dx of dy by dx, which is 1.5t. So now you got d by dx of 1.5t. Now this is in terms of t, and you can't differentiate something in terms of t and when you're differentiating with respect to x. So that is same as writing d by dt of 1.5t times dt by dx. So what we're saying is d by dt, so this dt and this dt gets cancelled, so this is same as saying d by dx of 1.5t. So let's rewrite this, so dy, d squared y by dx squared is equal to d by dt of 1.5t, so that's going to be 1.5, times dt by dx. So we know dt by dx is 1 over 2t. Okay, so that is 1.5 over 2t. And that's the answer. So 1.5, you can simplify this. So that is uh, half of 0.5 is 1.5 is 0.75. So this is 0.75 over t. Or you can also simplify this. This is 3 over 4t. So the second derivative of this function is 3 over 4 t. Okay, so let's do one more question. So here you have x is equal to 4 t squared. So the same process, dt by dx is going to be 8 t. And this dy by dt is going to be 3. So let me write, this implies dx by dt is going to be 1 over 8t. Okay, so what can we do? So let me use a different color. So I can say d squared y by, no, we want to find the first derivative. So dy by dx is dy by dt times dt by dx. So that's equal to dy by dt is 3 times 1 over 8t. So that is 3 over 
8t. So let's simplify this. So this is 3 over 8 times t to the power negative 1. Okay. So now we want to differentiate this function to find the second derivative. So we can say the second derivative d squared y by dx squared is going to be d by dx of dy by dx. So well that's right that is same is that is equal to d by dx of dy by dx which is 3 over 8 so 3 over 8 t to the power negative 1 now we want to differentiate this with you can't differentiate this with respect to x so I'm going to write this in terms of t so that is same as d by dt of 3 8 of t to the power negative 1 times dt by dx dt by dx okay I made a mistake here I should have written this as dt by dx good to see your mistake because dt uh, dt by dx oh I have made a mistake here this is dx by dt okay I should have started the mistake started here so this is dx by dt so this is dx by dt so this becomes dt by dx okay so when you're differentiating x with respect to t I by mistake wrote dt by dx so this is dx by dt and this is dt by dx okay so let me change color so almost there so d squared y by dx squared is equal to you're differentiating this so d by dt of 3 8 of t to the power negative 1 is going to be 3 8 times negative 1 times t to the power negative 2 times 1 over 8 t okay so this simplifies so this is this simplifies to 1 over t squared so this is minus 3 8 this minus 3 8 times negative 1 is minus 3 8 times 1 over t squared times 1 over 8 t so that simplifies to minus 3 over 64 64 you got t squared times t which is t cubed 